Good. Oh, trigger. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. Uh, we've got some ABC props on the bench. This is kind of an update video of some props that I showed you guys a few videos back. I've got two completely finished, working on a third one, finalizing that one. Uh, this is the 1820 that I actually had. Uh, I was actually, well, I did actually email Das Boda. I was going to send him this prop. <laughs> it was in bad shape. You know, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to, to do it myself. And I, I kind of bit the bullet. It was bugging me. And I like a challenge. So I'm actually going to show you guys some before and after footage of this propeller. Uh, so stick around. Big B. We're in Clyde RC. So as you guys can see, I got the prop balanced. It's It stops anywhere, okay? When you balance up a propeller, uh, when you're done, you it should look like this. You should be able to tap it, and it just stops anywhere, you know? Not in any certain place, you know? Uh, that lets you know the prop's perfectly balanced, okay? So this one's perfectly balanced. I've actually... So uh, this is an unbalanced prop. You can see how that blade falls heavy okay that one's unbalanced that's basically how this prop right here was okay so so i'm actually going to cut in the raw footage of this propeller um right right here i was real questionable if i could work the prop out it had a it almost looked like the blade was <laughs> crooked like the trailing edge was cro crooked or something but it, i guess it was kind of an optical illusion okay you guys see how straight you see how straight that trailing edge right there is? It's nice and straight. Perfect. Okay, we're going to flip it over. Look at this one. Look how jacked up this blade right here is. It's almost like the blade's bent. Okay. It's got some material missing. Almost like it's bent. And look at the tip. The tip. The tip's rolled out. And it's the short blade. It's the smaller of the two blades. And it's rolled out like that. Look at that. Look how thick. Look how thick the tip is. You see how thick it is? Okay, it's rolled out. Look at this one. Look how thin and tapered it is. That prop right there should have never left the factory. Look at that. Look at the look at the bottom blade, the trailing edge. Look how crooked it is. So you guys can see a big difference, right? Okay, this is the finished prop. This is actually the heavy blade. So I actually take that back. Uh, this prop was fine. It was just an optical illusion. You know, it was throwing me off all that material that was on the trailing edge. I'm not used to seeing extra material right here. You know, usually the the, the extra material on a blade's like like right here, kind of like center on the prop blade. Usually don't see a lot of material on the trailing edge, so <laughs> I kind of take that back. It it it's actually a, turned out to be a good prop. Kind of like rolled that thousand grit over, almost like a like a pencil, okay. And I would actually like slightly, ever so gently profile the back of the prop. You know, um, I make sure I make sure that this trailing edge right here is sharp that edge right there sharp I make sure I got a little bit of like uh, I guess almost like a cup on this edge right here I make sure that these leading edges are sharp as all get out all right um, here lately with these ABC props uh, you see this right here where the tongue's at like right like right there okay I've been I've been sharpening my props um, used to I would sharpen them and, and cut that leading the tongue area the leading edge I would cut it like this okay here lately with these ABC props I've been cutting that that this edge right here almost almost flat with the hub trying to get it as flat as I can with the hub you know instead of cutting it like this cut it like this because you got to figure when these props are running through the water okay that that flat cut on the on the leading edge it helps it at high speed you feel me that that's just my thinking i don't know if it's a good mod or not but uh, that's what i've been doing you know 
but uh, this prop turned out pretty good, man. I was I was really like second guessing trying to tackle this one myself, but pretty happy with it. You guys seen it? It's balanced like perfect. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's the eighteen twenty. All right, so this is the seven eighteen seventeen. Okay, um, I had I actually hit a, a hundred and seven miles an hour with this prop on my oxy digger rigger. Uh, so I actually got it worked out um, that 107 was with a rough cut <laughs> and uh, I actually went back and <laughs> I didn't really do a whole lot to it I was actually scared to do anything really major to it so I just matched all the blades up you know I matched all the blades up and I sharpened them it wasn't really that sharp at 107 um, I sharpened them like per like yeah I sharpened them up that leading edge I flattened it out as much as I could um, I actually took that thousand grit like I was saying I did it with the other prop I took that thousand grit and I, and I slightly profiled and um, when I was profiling it I didn't really mess with the outside edge at all you know it just basically about a millimeter from the leading edge or yeah leading edge to the trailing edge you know and I just kind of deepened everything like um, tried to match it up knock any of the mold marks so it's nice and slick them up you know but um, turned out pretty good uh, I was almost tempted to, to 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 like cup this leading edge from like my finger to the tip that little cup like a like I did on this one you know just a little cup on there almost like a, like I did on this 1716 right here this is another 95 mile an hour prop I cup that basically that last two three millimeters you know I cut that leading edge flat on this one too flat as I could to the hub you see that all right so uh, this is the 1616 so this is my roughed out stage okay it's balanced it's balanced I can, I can run, th run this prop as it is it's just roughed out shaped all three blades okay so after this stage I actually sharpen each blade okay once I get it roughed out and I got all three blades matching I'll go through and sharpen it with my sandpaper you know I'll, I'll hit it with sandpaper sharpen it I do all the roughing up with the file round file and this big big guy right here hog off material shaping it a quick tip i actually take this foam this soft foam i cut it like at a real sharp angle okay a thin angle and i super glue 220 emery cloth on there so i can get into like tight places you know i actually like to use this sharpening my prop like long ways you know it kind of helps me out tip for you and then i'll and then i'll use these little files after i use the big ones once i got it all shaped up i'll get up against the hub I'll hit the hub if I need to and then I use my sandpaper like I said to sharpen it as I sharpen it I'll actually you know on the balancer I'll, I'll hit it I'll sharpen one blade I'll put it on the balancer I'll sharpen the next heavy blade and so on uh, last thing I do like I said is is the the back of the prop and then I'll, um, I'll actually take my balancer I'll actually keep I actually been keeping my prop on this balancer pin on my bench buffer hit hit it on the side uh, the bench grinder buffer with some polishing compound and I'll I'll hit it I'll put it on the balancer heavy blade I'll hit it on the buffer buff it out until it's completely buffed out once it's uh once it's balanced it's done you know but um yep yeah, I had somebody I just actually I just wanted to kind of update you guys on this prop because I had mentioned it a couple times. I think it turned out pretty good. I'll let you guys go. Told you it'd be a quick video. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be running those two. Probably this one too. I think I'm gonna throw this one on the Blackjack 24 or the Recoil too. I think that's gonna be a good prop on the Recoil um, because this Oxdean prop right here on the Recoil too was awesome and it's almost the same. It's almost the same prop. 10, 50. 
You guys see that? It's almost the same prop. This one's 42 millimeter, that one's 40. So I think it's gonna be great on the recoil too. That was almost too much prop on the recoil too, but it was fast. Oh yeah, while I got you guys here, speaking of Oxdeen, okay, so um, I actually lost one of Oxdeen, one of these 42 high rake props, okay? So this is not an Oxdeen prop. This is an Oxdeen, okay? You guys see on the Oxdeen, see how thick the trailing edge is right here? All right, so I lost the prop on my, it's a pair, on my Delta Force 29. So I was trying to be cheap. I went on eBay and I picked up the same prop, 42 high rake. Just so you guys know, those eBay props are not the same as an Oxdeen prop. Okay, so this is the Oxdeen prop. This is a cheap eBay prop. Basically a $45 prop, $20 prop. You guys see how thick that trailing edge is? Okay, Oxdeen's is much thicker. All right, just fun fact for you guys. Uh, a lot of guys were running these props right here, calling them Oxdeen props. It's not, it's not an Oxdeen prop. All right, might be made by the same manufacturer, but the thickness isn't there. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's get it. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna, next pretty day. We'll see you next time.